Alright. Alright. Let's be a mom. Let's go. Hello. Oh. The game's just trying to scare me. It is not behind 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 me. Oh, look at him. It's not behind me. It's not behind me. Story true. Let's go there. It's obviously important and I'm going to get killed. Leaving as if that's gonna help. Sure. What's this? I think this is where I started. Oh, yeah, this is where I started. So if I go to the office, go to the office, get some wood done. Oh, it's close. That is close. Now I've been to the office, haven't I? First appearance of the thing. So where am I going? Storage room, that way. playing amnesia that game was just horrid I just couldn't get it finished I'm sure we're playing through the second one I'm not am I yeah oh <laughs> that's even scary in the first one I'll do it the first one <laughs> look at this little drawing they left cockroaches <laughs> equal sad I think I've chosen a bad spot to train. Boots. Why can't I talk to someone? I want to talk to them. Another story thing here. Cool. Everything locked. That is annoying. I'm gonna throw a boot at it. No, that didn't work. Uh. Hmm. 
like that. What the hell? I was stunned by foot. Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, rocks. Oh, three star, oh, three darts. It's the three rocks, which means that. Those spaces are not my forte. Not my thing at all. That guy whispered to himself. Oh my kids. It's just a spider. <gasps> oh my god. No, I don't like spiders. I don't like them at all. Ew. Is that some kind of dog? Ew. Maybe it likes beef jerky. Day one, I begin this record still in the hope that the great work we have undertaken here might one day be of scientific value, despite the chaos that which has ensured in the six hours previous. My aim is to remain secure until what help there may be arrives, and to that end, I've barricaded myself in the small workshop area in the abandoned. Uh, sorry. <laughs> in the abandoned part of the mine. I hope that the meagre food rations here will keep me alive and that those I hide from will not jeopardize that hiding from. Who? Anyway, perhaps this mine is really cursed. It's almost precisely 30 years since the incident that brought us here and now 30 years on fate has struck again. Day three. I forecasted that today the rescue crews would uh, arrive but I can only hypothesize that they would be unaware of my location and hence busy themselves evacuating the other survivors. If they have not arrived by tomorrow, I will go in search of them. Day six, my first mistake was to make assumptions on the matter of rescue. My second mistake was to make assumptions on the safety of this mine. My third mistake was to act on both those assumptions in and going out of my safe haven. My best estimate is that I left the workshop where I was secured about two days ago in the search of aid, and I have only found I have found only danger. I approach the old living quarters, but curiously, I find no sign of life whatsoever. I returned in what I thought was the direction from which I had come, but soon fo found myself in an unfamiliar locale. I was confused but focused, I attempted to make my way home but found myself threatened by some species of feral creature which seems to have made this mine its home. Although the specimen bore significant interest to me, I chose to retreat, only to find myself outmaneuvered and outnumbered by the beast. I turned and ran, injuring my ankle in the process, which I believe now is more likely a sprain rather than a fracture. For some time I cowered and fled in, into the dark. But a few hours ago, I discovered a door leading to a smaller, disused part of the mine, the key for which I still have in my pocket. Within that area, I discovered this storeroom, 
and I think it should keep me safe for some time. This place is a maze. My lesson learned, I will not venture out, venture out again until I am certain the area is safe. Day 19. Rescue teams in, rescue seems increasingly unrealistic. Supplies diminishing. Lots of spiders in this place. I do not like spiders. Day 34. I caught one of the accursed eight-legged beasts nestling in my open mouth when I walked this morning. In my surprise, I swallowed it. It's not so much the act of swallowing which concerns me, but the ge uh, ge genus of arachnid. It would be unlikely that a cave-dwelling spider would be venomous to any significant degree, but the possibility troubles me all the same. Day 35. Any known venom would have affected me by now, and so today is the first minor cause for celebration I have had since the incident. By lucky con coincidence, this revelation also means I have discovered a virtually inexhaustible su supply of nutrition. I intend to venture into the basement beneath this storeroom in the name of science to discover more about these creatures' natural habitat. Day 50. For four days now, I have been surviving solely on the quite considerable sustenance provided by the spiders. For some time, I was struggling to gather enough of the crunchy little morsels. However, Lady Luck smiled upon, smiled on me once more when the batteries in my torch died, and I made a second life-saving find. Ding. The creature's natural habitat is the dark. With my light now diminished, I need only lie still for a few minutes, and I will have attracted enough of the bees to me for a rather hearty meal. Ooh. Spikes. That. that reminds me about the mule worm thing. Apparently, for every time we die while recording Halo Reach, we have to eat a mule worm. I don't know if that's true or not, but you know, I'd rather not, to be honest. Alright, let's get moving. Ooh, see. Let's go this way. Go this way, yeah. Oh, a ladder. Cool. Yeah, you can get back up now. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, wrong way. Day 71. My earlier assumptions on the benign nature of my cellmates may have been made in error. After a careful autopsy, I am concerned that there may be a small volume of natural chemicals stored in the stomach which, if ingested regularly over a period of time, may become psychotropic or even lethal. My only real chance is to break out of here and raid any stashes of supplies I can find. However, the evidence against such a move is insurmountable. One, I have no source of light. Two, I swore to myself I wouldn't leave until I heard human voices outside. Three, the spiders are so tasty. Day 100. From the marks I've been make, mark, making on the walls and my scribbled diary entries, which in the dark may amount to an illegible scrawl, today is the hundredth day of my new life. Over the past month, my edible friends have become more and more aggressive and have swelled in number and size. Whether or not this is a, as a, res, is a result of my plundering their ecosystem, I am unsure. However, at this rate of growth, they will soon be too large to crawl through the gaps in the walls. And for all I know, I could be seeing the tip of an, the iceberg. If all fails, I am, and I am never recovered, I hope that at least my study of, and indeed, involvement with, involvement with these fascinating creatures will one day be regarded right really 
struggling to, aren't they? Regarded as an important point in national history, the greatest names. Oops. <laughs> The greatest names in modern science got there, got there more through fluke than talent, and it appears that this rule has extended itself to my discovery of this delicious new species. I only pray that the second rule deems my breakthrough too insignificant, for all great discoveries tend to consume their inventor. That's true. Game just notes. <laughs> yeah. I've read over an album's worth of notes. I know, it is. It. I know, I like reading them though. It's, I like knowing the story and stuff. Even though it scares me. Stop here, guys, and uh, I'll see you next time, I guess.